Hi, today we're going to show you how to measure your dog and fit the herd to down for suit. First of all, we're going to measure. It's the bit that people always get wrong, so it's really important to get this right at the start. You need to measure from the point of your dog's shoulder to the base of his tail. So get your dog to stand and measure. If you feel down their neck, you can feel where the withers are, and that's the point of their shoulder. And you're going to take your tape measure from that wither to the base of their tail. Now the base of their tail is where their tail actually meets their body. So you can see I've just lifted Sparky's tail so you can find the point and he measures 36 and he's proud of it. <laughs> okay, so to measure your dog's chest, we're literally just gonna take your tape measure around their barrel, behind their front legs and take that measurement for the chest. So to measure your dog's neck, you simply just take your tape measure and go all the way around where their collar might sit. And so Sparky measures at 36. So to measure your dog's legs, take tape measure at the front from the elbow down to the floor. And Sparky measures 20 to the floor, but you really want to be going to his ankle, so he would be 17. Okay, so Sparky measures 36. Our recommendation is that if you have a dog that doesn't quite fit the size exactly, go down because the herter jackets tend to size up and they're generous. So we're just going to wade in and put the 35M on Sparky. When you open up your coat, you will see there are lots and lots of cords to tie to make adjustments. And this is what's brilliant, but also slightly difficult. It's the technical side of this jacket that makes it worth the money because it will fit almost any dog that you care to put in it. But what you need to do first is familiarise yourself with where the tie-offs are and then just get the coat on your dog. And once they're set up, it's done. You don't have to readjust them. So you start with the front legs. I lay the jacket out in front of your dog. And if you just put one foot through at a time, so once you've got the front legs in, bring the coat up and you'll find a handy little popper to pop together and that will hold the coat in place while you put the back legs in. So you've got your front legs in, you've got your popper done up. All you're going to do is lift each back leg and pop it through the coat. Once the back legs are in, just bring the coat over at the top here. So just simply zip the end in. Okay, so we've got the coat on and we need to make some adjustments. So we're just going to unzip and do the adjustment in the neck at the front and then we'll do the adjustment under the rib. You can see the legs are slightly long so I'm probably going to draw those up as well and that will keep the coat firmly in place. So if you just open the coat the first adjustment we're going to make you'll need to undo this popper the first adjustment we're going to make is around the front of Sparky's chest so I'm pinching the seam between my fingers so I can just gently tease it without pulling too hard and just work the fabric along. Good boy, I know babe. There we go. When I feel like it's a nice tension, I can feel it drawing up at the front of the coat here, underneath. I'm just going to tie it off and all you need is a simple slip knot and that will hold it in place. So the next adjustment we're going to make is in his tummy, it's just behind his ribs, in front of his sheath, and it will, this will just draw the coat up so that it's not in the zone for getting weed on. Again, I'm just pinching the fabric between my fingers so that I don't pull this too hard. You don't want it to be over tight, you just want it to sit snugly against your dog. When you've got it to the right measurement, again, just do a little tie, and that will hold it in place. So we've done the adjustments around the front of the coat and under his ribs and you can see where it puckers and that's just drawn the coat up. So next we need to do Sparky's legs. His back legs, they're great. He's not going to walk out of that because he's got plenty of space between the bottom of his leg and the coat. What we will want to do is when you're out walking, you'll want to just flip these and do the, the popper up 
so that it's nice and snug around his little leg. So on the front, you can see these legs are probably just a little bit too long and he's going to walk out of these um, because they're coming too close to his toes. So I'm just going to adjust the inside tie-offs to make that leg sit a little bit shorter. So to do the front legs, you need to just undo the coat. And this is where it pays to have understood where the ties are because you need to just reach inside, find the end of the tie and just gently pull up the thread and you can see the leg puckering on the outside. Now I don't want too much on Sparky. I'm just tying this off in a nice loose slip knot so that it will just hold that tension when you put it back on. And I'm going to do exactly the same on the inside of the leg. So I'm just pulling gently on the inside and then I'm looking at the outside to make sure I've got that gather that will hold the leg up. And then once you're happy, again, just tie a little slip knot there to hold it in place. And then when you put the coat back on and zip it up, you can see the difference between the two lengths of those legs. Right, so we've made our adjustments. All we need to do now on his front legs is a little popper. I know. There we go. And that will keep the coat nice and snug on his feet while he's walking around. So your coat fits, you've made your adjustments. All you need to do now is zip it up and just inside the neck, you've got two little poppers that will hold that neck up nice and high. Pop those up, zip, mind your dog's ear. And then there's a little zip guard, which you can just flip over, which will protect debris and mud from getting into that zip. And then finally, inside the neck, you will find the one adjustment hidden, which is the rain trap, which you can just pull gently to tighten up the coat around his neck and you lock it off by sliding it up into that line. And that's nice and snug and will stop the rain going down the coat while he's out on a walk in the pouring rain. <laughs> And that's the Herta Day episode. Thank you from me and Sparky.